Always a good day when two lefties are starting against each other. For the A's, it's J.P. Sears. What a pitching matchup it will be today. The southpaw, J.P. Sears, has been outstanding. Sears ready, winds up the first pitch, kicks off the mound. Schumann is there and on the run, delivers a strike. One pitch, one out. And that'll bring up Canna. He uses his fastball more than any other pitch. And now Canna drive to center field. Blade will make the catch on the run. A step shy of the warning track. That's out number two. And that'll bring up Elliot Ramos. Now Ramos will pop it up. Should be playable for Nevin in foul ground. And it is. He will make the catch. That's a one, two, three inning for J.P. Sears. The dominator these days Mike for the Giants a lefty Blake Snell. Oh his last seven starts and this is what he's done 2 and 0 with 0 9 90 RA 60 strikeouts might have the best curveball in baseball. On the ground is short Fitzgerald. Out number one. So now Brent Rooker he's the big home run hitter for the A's and he hits that one pretty hard to center field. Going back on him McCray at the wall he'll make the catch. Two down. So here's Bleday, a left-handed hitter. That's a swing and a miss. Strike three, a slider got him. First strikeout today for Blake Snell. One out. Here is Jay Langoliers now, the A's catcher. Just off the inside. No, called strike three. Got the call. Langoliers can't believe it. So here's Nevin. Did he go? Yes, he did. On the curve in the dirt. That's strike three. For Snell, two strikeouts and a one, two, three inning. And the Giants get a leadoff base runner. Now Grant McCray batting left handed. Two balls and a strike to McCray. Runner goes and pitches high. Throw to second base. The tag oh. applied by the shortstop Schumann on the money. And down goes Jastrzemski trying to steal. The Giants are last in baseball in stolen bases. They were trying for their 50th of the year and denied by Langoliers. Yes. 3-2, and J.P. Sears just struck out his second man. Down a strikeout on her knees, and that'll bring Schumann to the plate. A line drive base hit by Schumann, the first today against Snell. That was a good at-bat from Max Schumann. So Snell out of the stretch now for the first time, facing Daz Cameron. Got it. Three straight change-ups. Rather Fitzgerald, the batter. He's worked the count full here to lead off the fourth. On the ground, a fair ball. Hernandez. One hop, not in time. Fitzgerald's just too fast. Great effort, but it's a hit. Here's Mark Canna now. One and two to Canna. Another chance for Hernandez, who fights the sun. He's coming in, and Sears makes the catch. They might have a chance Let's at a double play, and they got it. J.P. Sears fields more than his position and turns an incredible double play, catching Fitzgerald, sleeping in between first and second. Well, you lose it upstairs in that big ball of gas, and somebody's got to make something happen. And J.P. Sears says, clear the deck. I'll handle it myself, because I am an athlete. Do it, Sizzle. So two outs, and here comes Elliot Ramos in a scoreless game. One, two, and then he just struck out the all-star Elliot Ramos. What a performance for J.P. Sears through four innings. Matt Chapman will lead off against J.P. Sears. A base hit, Chapman hit it hard, and that's a leadoff single. Here's Casey Schmidt. Squibs that one past the dive of Nevin. Okay, you don't always have to hit it hard. Chapman's going to go around to third. Well, the fact that he barely got it through the infield, it allowed an easy take at third base for Chapman. Just right off the tip of the bat. There's a little opportunity with some space on the right side. Just out past the outstretched arm of Nevin. Is that for good luck? Hey, it worked. What a great way to suck up to your manager. And so it's Mike Yastrzemski who in this situation could make an out and still get a run home. Here's a butt in the air. Excuse me, Stephen. Foul territory and diving to his left wow. is Langoliers. He makes the play and takes it right off the grass. And the A's sparkling defense continues on this Sunday afternoon. That didn't go how the Giants expected. It's Langoliers who takes advantage of Yaz and the bad head dropping. Little pop up and Shea up out of the squat on those pogo sticks makes a heck of a play. So now it's up to Patrick Bailey two on but two outs. That's a big word for him. Emotion is uh, <laughs> yes. a big part of his game, you know. And Cameron's there to make the catch. As Cameron 0 for 2 this afternoon. Line drive into left field. Cameron's got a hit. Das Cameron right now hanging in there doing a nice job. A little change up that gets flipped up. One out single by Cameron. Here's Rooker. Fly to center and struck out. 1-1. One, one. Line drive. And into right field beyond the diving reach of Casey Schmidt. 
So Rooker and Cameron are on the base paths back to back hits for the A's. And that'll bring up J.J. Blade on the ground. Schmidt is going to flip. There was a little hesitation. I don't know if they could have gotten the double play, but that took away their chance. And now the runners are on the corners with Andujar, who has recorded a hit against Snell in this game coming up. Swinging on the first pitch, it's a base hit to right. Andujar brings home the first A's run. The throw to third is perfect, but the A's do get their first run of the game and take a one to nothing lead. And what is the conversation here between Mark Kotze and Alex Tozzi at third? It very well could be Mark Kotze wondering where's the obstruction call? Because you see Matt Chapman going for the baseball and they're wondering, does that eliminate the lane for J.J. Blade? What you got to remember is this is an interpretation call, not something that they're going to be able to take another look at. It's third time through against Sears. Figure it's sort of now or never for the Giants. Elliot Ramos standing in for the Giants. Ramos to center field. Lade back and gone. Up off the hitter's backdrop. Elliot Ramos. A monstrous home run to tie the game. My goodness, did he crush that one? 448 feet. Wow. It's one to one. That's one of the longest home runs I can ever remember a Giants hitter having in this part. Well, that gets a little life back in the dugout. Oh, my. Blake Snell still in this game. He did not do any damage with that one. A curve in the dirt for strike three. 54, 54 strikeouts now, last five starts. And that surpasses John Montefusco. There's Tyler Nevin. Rocket back up the middle. Tyler Nevin has a one out base hit. So two walks in a row. And suddenly the A's have loaded the bases with one out for Max Schumann. One, two. He went around and the ball hit him. He's out. So he got hit by the pitch, but he swung at it. It's strike three. Wow. Yeah, one of the really rough rules in baseball. This is where whatever you got left, empty the tank, Blake. Three, two. On the ground to second. Casey Schmidt will throw him out. And Blake Snell, he dug deep and got the Giants through it. The A's do not score. We're going to the 10th. After nine, A's one, Giants one. And Carnacion stands in. And Carnacion, first pitch swinging. Deep right center. Gone! First pitch of the 10th, and it's a two run homer to put the Giants ahead three to one. Wow, what a swing. What a moment for Encarnacion. Just called up to the Giants earlier in the month and without a doubt, his biggest swing of the bat in a Giants uniform. As it stands right now, that's one of the biggest hits of the year for the Giants. Bob Melvin gonna go to his bench and Michael Conforto. to one Conforto to deep right field. The Giants go back to back. Four to one in the 10th. Michael Conforto is a pinch hitter, makes it four to one. And all of a sudden, it's home run derby here in Oakland. Wow. Out about the 10th inning, A's trail at four to one. Here's Max Schumann, who's one for three. Ground ball to, nope, it's through into center field. Wisely couldn't corral it, and Butler comes home and scores. Oh, uh, that is a good start, battling back from a 4-1 deficit. Relatively routine ball, and Wisely just missed yeah. it. And that's how the A's get the tying run of the plate. And he just walked Toro on four straight pitches. Brent Rooker with two on and nobody out in the bottom of the tenth. Down two runs is coming up. Swing and a line drive into left field. That's a base hit. They're going to hold up. Schumann at third and the bases are loaded for J.J. Blade. Still nobody out. One, two. He got it with the sinker. Front door sink and a big, big first out. You know, on Duhar with two hits and four at bats. He got it with the slider, two down. And there's the Ryan Walker slider, and he got Duhar to go after it. Two down in the 10. Now Shea Langoliers, who has one of the two grand slams this year for the A's. He struck him out. The final game the Giants will ever play here at the Coliseum was a thriller, and they find a way to get it done. 
They beat the A's four to two. What a game.